Good morning, my baby daddy. This has been a while. Took my eyelashes off because they're irritating me, but I'm about to go and pick up my friend from the airport. Navigate to McCarran Airport Terminal 1. Hot and juicy crawfish. Mm -hmm. We have the Cajun calamari. And we got the drool. You think we have gloves or something? So we're home. I haven't vlogged since I picked him up from the airport. But um, we went to Hot and Juicy. Yeah, 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 and got that. Um, we went to a few stores because um, whenever he comes to Vegas, he likes to shop. Now he's making some drinks. I'm about to take a nap because we're supposed to be somewhere at 8 and it's 7.46 right now. Can I open this? Yeah. I can drink it. Yeah. Which one? I want Seagram 7. <laughs> I don't know, but you check. If not, then I'll just drink that one. Which one? That. The, no. Mm -hmm. Whiskey. You had this before? No, but it's whiskey and I, I stick to whiskey. Oh. He bought me some things. He got me two pairs of sunglasses. He bought me some jewelry. He bought my pantry. You see there's a pantry over there? I just wanted a new pantry, so. I put it in the shopping cart. I'm gonna take a five minute nap because I'm so tired. I only slept for four hours last night. Not even. I slept for like two and a half, almost three. And we're gonna get there late, but hopefully we still catch the drinks, which end at like 10 something. If I could bring my camera, that'll be great, but actually, no, I won't bring my camera because we're Ubering. So I don't want nobody, we get to a club and they're like, oh, you can't take it in, then where am I gonna put it? Like, in my pussy now? We went to Dee Dee's, we went to Ross, we went to Burlington's, we went to Nordstrom. And we found a whole outfit for him. So yeah, I might show you guys that. Show you guys what I'm wearing. It's my outfit. I got on these little squirt. And my, this is my favorite shirt of all time for the summer. So cute. Got it from the Salvation Army. Got this from Charlotte Russe. I have on my banged bob. I mean my banged wig. And I dressed him too. You wanna see? You say you picked it out yourself? Yes, I did. She was actually against it. <laughs> hey, check out the shoes, though. Hey, 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 flossy. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> Ready to go. Good afternoon, my baby daddies. So, I woke up and I made breakfast. And then I want to sleep. Honestly, I want to still be sleeping right now, but the kid behind me wants to go shopping so bad. So I'm making him drive. Um, you're driving, buddy. I'm not driving. I'm not driving. That's I don't want to drive. It doesn't matter. You're driving. I'm not driving. No. <laughs> Come on. Stop. This is your town. No. Maybe on the way back. Maybe. Okay. Thank you. I'll drive on the way back. For I, sure. No. I don't want to drive to go. I want you to drive to go. Please. Okay. Come on. Tell him to get in the passenger seat. Hmm? Tell you to get in the driver's seat, I mean. It's hot, so you can turn I'm on the a, AC. I don't want to drive. Can you drive, please, to go? Oh, my God. Thank you. I told you before I got ready that you were driving. And what did I say? Uh -huh. What did I say? Thank you. I'm high right now. So if we crash... That's all your fault. Marijuana has never caused anything like that. Huh? Marijuana doesn't cause that. <laughs> alcohol, yeah. No, alcohol doesn't make me crash. Marijuana does. Alcohol makes me drive like a civil citizen. I'm gonna put this in your face. Okay. So that means you have to ask me before you can use your money? <laughs> I like it. Is that what it means? I is? like it. Whatever it means, I like it. And I'm playing my music. Shoot, I don't care. Talking about it. How come I haven't heard my music since I've been here? Mm, you definitely said it. Yeah. Yeah? Shoot. So where are we going? Um, South, South North, 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 North Outlet. Navigate to North Outlet. I want to take you to that uh, store, Janet. Oh, 
Okay, so North Outlet and then Gen X and then Soul Food, right? Yeah, the little Victoria's Secret. That should be at the outlet, no? Well, okay. Up to you. Hey, you never ever leave from Matani. We are at Generation X or Gen X. I don't know what that is, but they have like a whole bunch of it's like a whole bunch of like you know those stores that sell basics? Something like that. My friend is tall. So finding like jeans and stuff for him is hard. He told me about this place. He said he wanted to come here before we went to the mall. So that's the one we're doing. And they got a plus size section. It's not that impressive, but at least they got one. Inclusivity is what matters. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I said this reminds me of how people used to eat back in the day in the hood. These are cornbread cakes. We got some rice and beans, and then the sausage came on top of the rice and beans. So far, it's good as fuck. Um, I got Kool-Aid with lemonade, and then I mixed it and was able to make a second drink. <laughs> and he got a blood. muddy water, muddy water. <laughs> oh my god, that shit's crazy. Okay, so we gonna tell y'all what we got. So I got the oxtail. I got some. I, I want to say these are candied yams, rice and beans. If I knew we were getting rice and beans, I would have got something else. Got some mac and cheese. That's stuffing, cranberry, collard greens, mashed potatoes, and baked chicken. Okay, so I can't take my camera. We're about to go to rehab because we're taking an Uber. So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it here, but I'm going to see y'all with my Snapchat footage. How about that? Mm -hmm. Good morning. I'm going to fat ass pimple on my face. Jeez, it's big. I just rubbed some hydrogen peroxide on it and it exposes itself. It just allows it to dry out quicker, but that's just like a little life hack. Clyde is leaving this morning. This was that. We have fun though. That was a good run, right? Maybe. Maybe that. You missed all the parties. You went to sleep through all the parties. But at least, at least he was able to shake some ass during the day yesterday. Um, I've been watching a lot of journalism because even though I didn't study journalism, I just love, it's like a form of art where you're able to get your point across with statistics, with facts. You know what I mean? So I'm really, I'm really intrigued by that type of stuff right now. And people who follow me on Snapchat, you guys know that I've been really interested in like transgender and what the hell that means and what it's about and what are we supposed to do about it. You know, the people who aren't um, affiliated with the transgender community or the trans, with the trans community. My boots ain't left and now it's just me. So I need to fix my laptop. It hasn't been working for the past week. And I know you guys are irritated with me because I haven't posted a video. Laptops are expensive, especially mine. I have the Lenovo Yoga Pro and that shit cost $1,200 when I bought it. And the last guy I brought it to, he told me that it just gave up on me. So he specializes in PCs, so he should know what's going on, but he didn't really check it. He just said, uh, if it's not charging, then this is what it is, you know? And it kind of sounded like he wanted to take my laptop or like buy my laptop off of me. So what I'm gonna do is go to Best Buy. And if Best Buy doesn't have, whew, why am I so out of breath? And if Best Buy doesn't have um, a solution, either I'm gonna go back to him, have him remove my, um, hard drive and put it into a different laptop or I'm gonna just get a desktop because Clyde gave me some money he told me that I should um, you know invest in myself and so that's what I'm gonna do I literally put the money into a separate account whenever somebody gives me money for a certain thing I use it for that I wanted to show you guys my outfit because I got these shorts from the Salvation Army and they're way tighter they're way tighter on me the last time I tried them on I need to get an iron he was actually saying he was gonna give me an iron yesterday but um, because, you know, guys, they have to iron their clothes, but girls, we really don't. And so I had a steamer, and my steamer almost caught my house on fire, so he threw it away. And he was like, we gonna go get you an iron, but we forgot. So, anyways, these shorts are really cute. I have on, oh my god, I can't believe, he bought me these shoes when I was, <laughs> dang, he might as well be my boyfriend, huh? He bought me these Nikes when I was in, um, South Dakota. They're really clean. They clean as fuck. Let's check those out. Ooh, mamacita. 
Yeah, I love those shoes. And then I just have on a white crop top. And it kind of gives me that good silhouette because this top is really tight. I wish I had more of these in different colors, but um, I can't remember where I got it from. I want to say DD's. And then I just have on a bandana to tie in the look, you know, some glasses. I don't have on any makeup. But we finna get outside of this house. We finna go and fix this laptop because uh, my baby, my laptop, my baby. So I'm at Best Buy right now. Trying to see if a different charger will charge it, and if not, then I'm gonna just go to the computer guy and see if I can buy a computer from him. We're getting ready to go to the gym with me. I haven't been to the gym in three days since Thursday. It's Monday now. Thursday. One on Thursday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Today's Monday. It's three days, bro. It's a good break. Now it's time to get back on schedule. I've been trying to link with Diamond so we could collab, but I don't know. Vegas, it be seeming like Vegas is way bigger than what it really is when it comes to like linking with people that you know live near or live here, you know? This, I'll grab a pair of shoes. Ooh, I feel like I got a doo-doo. Chris is here. Huh? Get out. <laughs> I'm not ready. Mm, I took a whole shit. He was like, you ready to go? You ready to go? Well, and he wasn't ready days to days go, days. and I took a shit. I don't give a fuck about your shit. He was trying to get rowdy nowadays, bro. Huh? You see this balcony right here? Fuck that means. Get tossed off. I have you to pick me up. Look how small your waist is. I can pick you up with two fingers. I'm like, get your ass on that. Mm. I can throw that little nigga over my balcony real quick. Ooh. My lighting looks good right here. I don't know what's going on. You alright? Let's go. Get out. I gotta lock my house. I'm saying, can you grab my things? You wanna see me to walk over your floor with your shoes? I gotta grab your things. You I'm just saying, walk. can you grab my things? You want me to walk on your, on your. That's not how you ask people to do stuff for you. I mean, you don't say please every time. I don't bring it up. Please is time. my favorite word to use. So you're lying. You have I'm to very say polite. Every time. You're polite most of the time, but not every time. Wow. Now he's making stuff up to fit his narrative. Yeah, okay. He was like, "Can you make me a smoothie? Cause I'm, I'm, I don't got no energy." I was I like, yeah. Then he said thank you, but he didn't say please. He was like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm hungry. Make me a smoothie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, master. Shit, you don't call me master. Shit. Feeling himself. Anyway, say hi to the vlog. You haven't talked to them in a long time. See, he feeling bougie. He be feeling bougie nowadays. Ugh, why? Because you got abs? He be feeling bougie ever since he got some abs, y'all. I've been bougie. Oh, quit. Huh? I didn't recognize how bougie you was before. Yeah. You parked far? At least you know. His keys live on the floor somewhere. Nope. Probably over there. Who knows how much bacteria is on them keys? I'm gonna put my mouth on them. They probably on you. They on you, nigga. Oh, on the floor in the bathroom. You were in my room. What were you doing in my room? Oh. <laughs> nope, it's not in there. Right there on the chair? Yeah. Yeah. Oh God. At least it wasn't on the floor this time. Oh, my baby dad. I don't know why this camera wanna start working now. It's all bright and stuff, the sun is down. What's going on? What changed? When I was asking for you to do this, you wasn't doing this. Bro, like what the fuck? Anyways, I guess, I don't know what happened, but thank God I fixed it, obviously. I know I checked in yesterday, I believe. Um, 
Yesterday I didn't do anything. I was like low key in my feelings. I don't know why. Sometimes bitches just be in their feelings. And maybe because my Clyde left or, well he thinks that's the reason why. But honestly, I wasn't even thinking about him. <laughs> to be real, I wasn't even thinking about him. But you know, it could have been subconsciously the reason, you know? But I was just like irritated at a lot of things. One being what I'm about to deal with right now, which is my laptop. Yeah, that's what happened. I haven't checked in with you guys since I left Best Buy, or since I came to Best Buy. Um, while well, I was in Best Buy, actually. So, I'm, I just got back from the gym right now. I'm headed to Best Buy again. Chris has a Best Buy credit card, which is impossible to get. I don't know how the fuck he got one. So my credit score is a little bit better than his. So, I don't understand how he got... Oh, because he, he still has um, school loans on his credit, so... You know what I'm saying? I feel like they see that he's paying them and that's the reason why they allowed him to get a credit card. But he offered, cause he saw that I was kind of like in my feelings. He was like, you're like different, blah. It's probably because, you're fo um, because of your laptop. He was like, if you want, you can use my Best Buy credit card and just pay me monthly. And so I was like, that might be a really good idea. He only has about like $500 on there or something. But I was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna do that. And I'm not gonna get a laptop, I'm gonna fix my laptop. And then I'm gonna buy a desktop because for the month of July, one of my goals was to buy a desktop. But because so much shit was happening, I had to help my mom with her rent. Um, you know, I actually had to help Chris with some money as well. Um, I'm having issues with um, Samsung. They are, they're holding like $680 of mine. So like a lot of shit is just, not helping me in this situation so i'm just gonna go ahead and get the desktop because that's what i wanted i'm gonna pay it down and i'm gonna get a lenovo desktop and then i'm gonna send my laptop in to get fixed if i can do that today um most likely they're gonna make me make an appointment but if they don't if someone canceled their appointment or something then i'll just take theirs and get this laptop sent off so yeah we're here Let's go see what we can do. I just spoke with the, <laughs> it's so funny watching myself vlog on here. <laughs> I just um, spoke with the people at Geek Squad and they said that they can't fix my laptop because it's too old. They don't have the parts for this laptop anymore. And he is the second person that told me it's not even worth fixing because anything with the motherboard can get really expensive. Um, he recommended me going to um, you break I fix which is probably like two minutes down the street, but they're closed right now because it's Eight o'clock and so I might just check that out tomorrow But this is the deck stop that I want. It's also Lenovo the charger stopped working and then I bought the new charger It was an adapter. So the guy who um, at PC Doctor Which is another repair shop. He's more expensive because he builds his laptops from scratch, but he told me I shouldn't buy adapter chargers because the adapter charger is probably what fucked up my charging port. And it is because I have that on camera too when it um, pulled out my, um, one of my vlogs when it pulled out my charger, like it broke it. So I've been just kind of free ball charging it and I feel like that might have fucked it up. The laptop doesn't turn on anymore. The computer is inside the desktop. So people say when the computer is inside the desktop, the computer has problems with overheating and stuff. But I went ahead and checked some of the this touch screen as well i went ahead and checked some of the reviews last night and all the reviews are super good on this desktop they have minor issues with like gaming but i'm not a gamer so i'm cool with that but they said that the um calibration is really good they say a lot of stuff about these this computer is really good they said that it has infrared i can also you see how it has the camera right here i can just kind of close it <laughs> like just in case somebody's recording or something no 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 if I see that red dot right there I know it's closed but when it's open like that then you can have it open the camera is really good and it records very well at night so I'll be able to do a lot of lives and stuff and it's a desktop and I keep saying I needed a desktop like I said in July I was supposed to get I was supposed to get a desktop that was one of my goals and if I remember I'll show you guys on my calendar the calendar of July it says get a desktop so me just weighing my options is like girl just get it so right now it's saying it's $7.99. Um, but I guess this is how much it is after all the taxes or something. I don't know. But we're going to see. Best Buy does price match. So I'm going to check to see if they have it at a better price before Chris gets here. This is the Lenovo 730S. 
24 IKB. So yeah, Best Buy $7.99, eBay $7.99. The newer version of my laptop, I'm gonna show you guys right now. It's so pretty and I wanted to get that, but it's expensive. This laptop when I bought it was expensive as fuck. It's more expensive than the Macs. I'm gonna show you guys that too, hold on. I'm mad that after four years that I have to get a new laptop, but while I had it, the best laptop I ever had. And I'm thinking about just getting it fixed. It's worth it, but here's the newer version of the one I have in my hand. And this is how much I paid for mine, 1200 <laughs> And that's how much it is now. So this is the newer version. As you can see, it has like this beautiful color. They have actually like a pink color too. It's just so lightweight. It has um, the Core i7. So Real. There's Chris. You call me Real? <laughs> this is the newer version of my laptop. Uh, that's nice. Just MacBook prices. That's what I'm saying, but that's how much I bought this one for. And they're good computers. Like, they're really good I never computers. I said they weren't. Though. I'm just saying, like, they're so expensive for it to have broken. It's been through something. Oh. It's been through a little bit. Yeah, that's yeah, what I was I'm saying. Not just saying I can't I know this nigga be dropping his computers all over. Where's the Mac? Cause I want to compare it to the yeah, Mac. I got, I got, Let me um, show you. Look at this one. This one is fifteen hundred. This is also a Lenovo. This one is a good price. I told you that. I remember when we were having arguments and you didn't want to believe me. This is a good price, but it's, it doesn't have an i7 core. The more you put on the card, the more you get time to pay without interest. To put the whole amount on, to put the whole 400 on there. <laughs> I'm gonna put the whole 400 on there then. Mm. I meant like, even if you wanted to put some, like, put some towards the card and then put it on the card, it would be the same thing. Uh, pay off some of that, put it on, or something like that, then you would get more. Like, what do you mean? I should pay off the, your card right no, now? No, 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 I'm not, whatever the, cover the, whatever the price, or what, what price, when we get the price, let's make a decision. So you're saying, oh, okay. I'm saying instead well, of just paying for it cash, pay, pay my card down to whatever the uh, difference That's is. still cash, me paying it down. You get it? But I'm saying you're paying it on card versus just paying it and you're not getting interest. I'm left with nothing again. This is because Chris was like, um, I don't know if you should just make a decision on like a thousand dollar purchase in 10 minutes i don't know like this is so frustrating you guys don't even know how frustrating this is the most frustrating part about all of this is that computers are starting to take out like ports for cameras and like usb but they said that you could return they said that you could use a laptop for two weeks and return it that's what i should have done I should have just got the desktop, used it for two weeks while my computer was getting fixed and returned that shit if I didn't want it. But if I did want it, then I don't know, man, y'all. Um, this is annoying. I just need to get back to my videos. I don't want to buy shit, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. They're trying to make me get a Mac, and I don't want a Mac. I don't want to have to relearn a whole new computer I don't want to have to buy all the shit that I need to do this and do that. <sighs> but it's like almost everybody on YouTube who does videos uses um, uses a MacBook. So if they use a MacBook and they okay with it, then it shouldn't be that bad, right? I don't know. I'm trying to convince myself. But I came down to wanting a Samsung because I have a Samsung phone. Most of the apple products use samsung software like they use samsung screens and stuff on their phones you know they just they take everything from samsung so there's no way that iphone could be better than a samsung laptop there has to be a reason why other companies aren't doing what mac is doing you know because samsung is a company that could literally mimic a macbook but they choose not to has to be a reason so I guess I have some research to do tonight that's what I'm gonna be working on on my phone though because I don't have a computer <laughs> Best Buy I'm here again and I finally bought a laptop Whoa. this door is always trying to embarrass me <sighs> shit 
Can I just have a fucking regular ass life, bro? I owe Chris four hundred dollars. Why? Well, he just told me to come to his car, and then now he's coming to my car. Ugh. Gosh. Anyways, I'm gonna put this in here so I don't. Put it. car and then came with What's all this? Hey. That's what the poster board thing is. Uh, yeah. Uh, you just told me to come to your car and then you... I'm like, is that him walking back over here? Uh, true. I'll Take your back. water too. Oh, you're coming back? Uh, I thought we were going to drive to the gym. Uh, that's true. Okay, <laughs> hey, bye. It's so windy. I don't want to hit the school. So dramatic. Huh? I said you're dramatic. Says the one that was about to panic because their phone was on top of the... Oh, box. see how you remember things? Wow. First time I ever panicked and it was because I couldn't find my phone. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I got a Dell laptop and... The reason why I got a Dell is because a lot of laptops now... Because I, I wanted to get another Lenovo because... Um, Lenovo has been coined the one of the best laptops on the market. Um, also, Asus. Asus, which a lot of us look at like, ew, what the fuck, why would you get an Asus? But another, I did a lot of research last night. I went to sleep at like 5 a.m. Asus has been coined the, one of the most, one of the best. As a matter of fact, every laptop inside of Best Buy has an Asus part in it. <clears throat> So I was looking at that, um, but I'm in a price range. I'm on a budget as well. So I wanted to make sure that my laptop had 16 gigs of RAM. I wanted to make sure it had a solid state drive, which is good for video editing. I wanted to make sure, I wanted it to have a graphics card, but that's not that big of a deal if I'm not a gamer. So um, it, uh, it has a standard graphics um, card, but it's not like dedicated. Um, and then what else? And then it had an iCore 7. So the Dell was the best bet. And then um, Best Buy is having this whole student deals thing where if you, um, that they're giving like $150 off for students. So um, they didn't ask me if I was a student, but <laughs> I got the student deal. I ended up paying $979, I believe. $974.24. So I have two weeks to test it out to see if I really love it or not, and if I'm gonna um, keep it or return it, what I wanna do with it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next two weeks. Uh, hopefully I love it. Based off of all the other laptops that I was looking at, like I didn't see anything that was small and compact because I travel a lot and um, you know had all the specs that I needed. So I'm kind of afraid because of how small it is that like it had all of those things in it. I don't know how it's gonna act. So for this particular laptop, I didn't um, do a lot of research on it, but when I got to the Best Buy and I saw that it had all the specs that I needed and it was small, I was like, and it has a U uh, um, it has like a USB, it has a, a port for your, it has a USB, it has a port for your um, SD card, it has a port for all the things that you need. And I'm just like, I don't know why computers are getting rid of these ports. Like, I understood they got rid of the disc. No one uses discs anymore. But we still use our memory cards for our computer. What if I wanted to transfer something from my SD card to my um, hard drive? Like, to my external hard drive. That's gonna be crazy because I'm gonna have to upload it to my computer, then take out the external hard drive, I mean, take out the SD card, and then um, plug in my external hard drive and then transfer it from my computer to my like that's too much work when I can just plug them both up and just transfer it from here to here so yeah we're about to head to the gym I got a laptop and I'm not really tripping about it because Chris was like the screen is too small because it's a 13 by 3 inch screen so it's smaller than the one I already have and the one I have right now is really small <laughs> like my current laptop that's broken is pretty small I think it was like 14 inches um, but this one is 13 inches and so it's smaller but I wanted to get a bigger screen you understand so Chris was like it doesn't make any sense you wanted a bigger screen you're not getting a bigger screen I don't want a heavy laptop I travel a lot and when I travel I want to still be able to edit my vlogs you know so 
I was like, let me just try it out. Let me see how it is with the editing and stuff. I think I'm gonna try Premiere. I'm gonna download Magics and see if I can use my Magics on there, which is the editing software I use. Um, but I'm also gonna try my Premiere, see how, what I could do with the Premiere's um, video editing software. So my 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 bank account ain't looking as fat as when you. <laughs> but um, I put 400 on Chris's card, and and then I put the other 600 on the card. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm just gonna open this bad boy. <laughs> and see what we got oh my god it has that old charging port i think yeah that one that always breaks easy okay that's one con up front i didn't realize that because most um most laptops are changing to the the charger that my phone uses actually which is um I can't remember what it's called, but most laptops are changing to that. But I have the Galaxy S8, and so the Galaxy S8 is going to be the universal charger for even iPhones, actually. So the next iPhone that comes out is going to copy the Samsung and have a universal charger, so everybody can use the same charger again. You know, iPhone was just being a bitch about it at first, but they're finally getting on board. Okay. I already found another issue that's gonna bother the fuck out of me. The fact that you see how this has two prongs, this one has three. And not everything ha has the capability for three prongs, you know? Okay. Pops out. I got the Dell Inspiron 13. Seven. Dell Inspiron 13 7000 Series 201. And I'd like to see what people have to say about it. So it looks like they got a solid four stars. Mm, why is it $6.99 on? <laughs> Hold on. Please. Don't tell me I just bought a laptop for way more than I should have. Oh. Okay, this one has 16 gigs of memory, that's why. And that one has eight. It's just nice and small. Actually, it looks way, it looks like a, um, look at it compared to my, but I'm going to look at videos because I like to see what people gotta say. Oh, it has a built-in stylus? Where is that at, bitch? Where my stylus at? I don't see no fucking stylus. Okay, so Dell looks like they, Put out videos so you can like watch it I guess this is a 2017 laptop so let's watch it from CNET because we believe we trust them a 1080p touchscreen display facial recognition tech a speedy new processor and a terrific touchpad keyboard combo how much do you expect a laptop with all that to cost Dell's Inspiron 137 packs so it all in for 880 bucks. Plus, it's a two-in-one, which means it doubles as a tablet. This is actually pricier than last year's model, which sold for $750. For the extra ducats, you'll get one of. Okay, what time is it? It's 2:30 a.m. right now, and I've just been watching videos after videos, trying to figure out how to work Premiere because um, my Magix has been installed and everything and it's looking great. I'm low key thinking about just going back to Magix. It's so easy, it's user friendly, you know, it's just easy to use, but there's not a lot of like people talking about like things that, problems that you have with it online. That's my issue with Magix. Like if I have an issue, I'm like, okay, I gotta figure this out by myself, but it's rare. 
because it's so easy to use. And um, I don't know, I must have just gotten very used to it or something because people seem to swear by Premiere. I went and I'm using the seven day trial. I used to be really creative. I did, in college, I studied digital media. So I used to be really good at this type of stuff. I used to do Photoshop. I used to use Adobe Premiere, but I feel like I remember moving from Adobe Premiere to Magix because it was so much easier. And now I'm just lost as fuck. The, inter the whole interface has changed, just completely confused. And I'm just like, all right. I used to do music videos and all types of stuff like that. So at this point, I'm trying to get more creative with my editing and I want to be able to do it quick. And with Magix, I kind of use it like the piano. Like I'm, I have short keys for everything and I'm able to, you know, just kind of play my edits like this so I can go pretty fast and I can cut it exactly where I want to cut it because the cursor on Magix, which is not like this on Adobe and this is my biggest issue. I don't have any issues with any other things even though there's no shortcut to like actually just slice it down the middle, like to slice a clip. Like, I just be wanting to just slice it right there. Like, okay, cut. You know what I mean? But sometimes I can't do that. Um, I mean, right now I can't do that. I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm going to figure it out. Or I'm going to make a short key for it. But um, on Magix, you're able to, like, when you pause the clip, when you pause the clip, some of you guys want to know what the fuck I'm talking about. But when you pause the clip, it goes back to where it's the cursor was. So the cursor is right here, and you start watching the video. And when you pause it, it goes back. But... It could also be like when you play it and you press K, it stops right there. You know what I mean? So you can cut it right there and you can move back a little bit, press K again, and it stops right there and I can cut it. That's just why I'm able to do quick cuts on most of my videos where it's like I'm talking about something and I cut it right there in the middle because I'd be talking outlandish shit and then you don't know what the hell I said after that because I take it out. <laughs> but with, Pre with Premiere, I notice a lot of people when they're editing their stuff, like they're, they're the last like couple letters of their sentence, like if they're saying water, like it will stop at water. And then I'm like, dang, why did you cut it right there? Why didn't you get the whole water? With Magix, it's much easier to get that, like, right on the dot. Like, water. Bah. That's it. But I don't know. It's I'm trying to edit this vlog on Premiere, and it's not as easy as Magix. So I have both of them open, like I said. I already bought Magic, so it's it's here for me to use whenever I want or whenever I need to go back. But I think I'm just challenging myself and trying to teach myself how to use Premiere, and this is Premiere. And as you can see, it's a little bit more complicated, even though this is just the um, shortcut like layout. But just the interface in general is way more complicated than the Magic's one. So, you know, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm going to let you guys know if I decide to keep using it after the seven-day trial or not. I don't know. I need to smoke a blunt. I've watched like 10 videos, okay? And I was trying to figure out how the hell do I split the clip without doing all that extra shit? Without having to go back, without having to go and click the um the blade and then click this place on the... Okay, so I figured it out. And you know what? It's fucked up because I've watched so many videos looking for the answer to this. And the way I found out is I have the keyboard up where you're able to customize the keyboard so that we can um, input your own short codes, right? And I closed it out and I was like, damn, let me open back up the keyboard. So I clicked Control K. <laughs> Thinking that was going to open up the keyboard. And guess what it fucking did? Look what Control K does. You guys, if you don't edit you're not gonna understand but this is the um this is my clip right okay let's try to focus this is my clip right look at what control k does it cuts it right where i need it to cut and how come nobody talked about this these big old bloggers, these big old YouTubers, they talk about the Q's and the W's, how you can move forward and back, how you can delete the front, how you can delete the back. They showed how you can um, go to, how you can go to this part, you can go to this, and you can ripple it, and you could, like, there's so many different ways to cut it, and they showed me all the different ways, but they did not show me Control K. Control K. That's what I've been looking for. what I've been looking for, okay? Bye. Okay, bye, bye, bye. Finally thought that I found somebody who had the answer to my question because he wrote it in his title and I had to give the video a thumbs down. You never see me give videos thumbs down, but I had to do it on this one, okay? How to snap playhead back and loop in Adobe Promo, Premiere Pro CC. So, 
what he said I don't, if y'all don't care about this, this video is all, it's probably gonna be all about this, but I mean, not this whole video, but oh, you have to put the I and you have to put the um, O, which stands for in and out. Put those markers and the track will loop within those markers. But what I'm trying to do is play it out. If I want it to stop right there, I hit K. If I wanted to go back to where it was, I press space and space will stop it and take it back to where I put the cursor. I put the cursor right here, the space but it plays, it plays. Oh, I passed the mark where I wanted to cut off. It's gonna take me back to where I put the cursor, which sometimes is barely like half a second in front of where I need it to be, right? So I play it, I'm playing it over and over again so that way I can get it directly where I need it to be. That way I can cut it where I'm talking, where I'm talking bullshit. But this man is saying that Adobe doesn't have that option and it's crazy to me. That's like one of the main things Adobe should have. So I'm editing a vlog from June and look at what I said. I'm thinking about getting a whole new like computer just for editing because this takes too long or maybe a new software but i'm just so used to this software. both this be irritating to learn a new one but <laughs> whatevs you know who knows how to hijack or who knows how to jailbreak um what's that thing called movie editor what's it called final cut if you know how to bootleg that let me know because <laughs> i need it <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny that i said that in the vlog that I'm editing right now, that I'm irritated by because I'm learning a new software on a new laptop that I bought for editing. <laughs> this is so crazy. And I didn't even know that this was gonna happen. Like, I, up until the day I bought this laptop, I was irritated that I was buying the laptop. But I literally spoke it into existence on this vlog that I'm editing. I'm starting to get the hang of it. I think I just gotta remember the keys. Um, the Q actually helps a lot um, when it comes to like trying to get rid of the, it's literally one key to get rid of it because it gets rid of, like if I hit Q wherever the cursor is, it deletes everything before it up until the last cut. So I think that's a, a good aspect of it. So I'm just gonna start using that because I'm not gonna use the W. The W does the same thing, but from where the cursor is to the next, to the next cut on the other side, the W will delete everything over there. Control K cuts it straight down the middle and then shift delete deletes the gap and the footage I'm sorry y'all I'm not good at explaining things but I think I'm doing a pretty good job at explaining this because this is like my expertise this is what I was what I wanted to do in the long run so you know what I think that this is really challenging my brain and I like to challenge my brain nowadays because I've noticed that I'm starting to get slow since I've been out of school for four years <laughs> damn that's a long fucking time more than four years i downloaded an app where i learn new words every day which i think i'm gonna start incorporating to the vlogs i'm gonna try and use the word four times a day or if i can six times a day i don't know why those two numbers but it's in my head and um yeah, I'm gonna start incorporating that. I wanna start incorporating some dance. Like I wanna dance, make up a choreography at the beginning of the week and then learn it throughout the week. And at the end of the week, I'll do a performance for you guys at the end of my vlogs. I just wanna make my vlogs fun to watch, okay? Because um, since I wanna start doing weekly vlogs, that's just what I'm trying to get into this really hardcore because I wanna, I want you guys to have fun watching me and I also wanna build my subscriber count. Like what the fuck, can y'all subscribe? And the way I'm gonna subscribe is by, you know what I'm saying, having some fun ass vlog. That's the way I'm gonna get people to subscribe. <laughs> version 2017.0.2. So if things look a little different cause you're using the early later version, this is the version I'm using just for your reference. You'll notice here first in the project 20 by 1080, which is what we're gonna be exporting Seven. today. So pretend that I've edited a whole video and that we're exporting that and not just one clip. But before we talk about exporting, I think it's very important. You will shoot with a certain frame rate and resolution to your camera, then you will edit at the I same don't know what you're talking about. Then you'll export at the same frame rate and resolution. So that way everything looks good and smooth and as high quality as possible. So with that in mind, I've got this video clip of some seagulls here from our family cruise. They're all in slow motion. They look pretty cool, right? I mean, it's pretty awesome. But we're not here to look at seagulls. We're here to render. So let's Please, create a just new render. sequence that will match up with our video footage. So you can either press control N or you can go to file new sequence and that's gonna open up the new sequence dialog box. And if you watch my previous video, we have these presets. I'm so tired, I'm about to throw up. Video, which is now what we're doing. SLR preset, 
1080p oh. DSLR. Move it so fast! What you'll notice here that it matches up with my video info. It's 23 minutes. What does he mean by this? What a joke. I gotta go. Good night.